As many of us know, Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz is a former Supreme Court Chief Justice. As a high-ranking senator who once held supreme presiding authority over the local court system, he struggles to understand why the unified courts now need as many unclassified employees as they claim on their payroll, especially when unclassified employees are often paid more than their classified counterparts in other GovGuam agencies. Senator Cruz, uh, Mr. Chief Justice, how many unclassified positions does the judiciary have besides the judges? Unclassified 93, including limited term appointment. And why aren't those positions classified? Chief Justice Robert Torres says, with good reason. Actually, about 32 of them are required statutorily to be unclassified. All judges and justices, all seasonal and temporary employees are required to be uh, unclassified. In addition, all of our federally funded employees are unclassified. But nowadays, as a vice speaker with a reputation as a government watchdog, Cruz is as sensitive to the need to protect employees as he is to the need to balance the budget. He says that when he was a trial court judge, he was slapped with a wake-up call. In a ruling known as the Hauser decision, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals overturned his own decision to allow the Attorney General's office to fire a lawyer. The appellate court cited an Organic Act provision stating that all public workers should be employed under the merit system, unless impracticable. And um, I can't see 93 employees, a full 25% of the judiciary, I mean, not being able to fit within the classified service. He says the court's need to be competitive in the job market is becoming too expensive to bear in a recovering economy when unclassified employees are paid more. More, higher. <laughs> yeah, it's not just about protecting the, 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 uh, no, the employees, but, but, but the budgeting but, process. But, but, but budgeting process, I mean, it's, uh, it, it's just skewing the, the budget up by, by paying them 100000 when when in other in other branches of government they're i mean even in uh, their unclassified service they're they're being paid tw uh, forty thousand dollars less it just doesn't make sense to me but nevertheless court managers contend even market demands have their merit when it comes to making exceptions and really there's four categories uh, those in fiduciary and confidential positions uh, those in uh, certain policy making uh, roles and some professional and technical employees and and the decision was made by the judicial council we think entirely consistent with the hauser decision to hire those employees as unclassified employees uh, which means of course they're at will employees they're not subject to the merit protection system but we think it was a sound decision and for, for the functioning of the judiciary